Hello YouTube, this is the Lambo Jackson channel and today's video is going to be a video response for Jake the Ticket Leprechaun. He asked to see our card room slash sports room, so today I'll be giving a tour of mine. It's going to probably be pretty lengthy, but hopefully you'll enjoy it. I'm a big collector of Wisconsin memorabilia, cards, anything autographed or that looks cool, and then random other things. So it's a pretty, pretty wide collection. First off, going down to the basement, so you see the cheese head, the Packer sign, sweet Nike Reggie White poster. Over here is a little, little wine there. Over here I got these super cheap, these were 25 each, done by the owner of the Wisconsin uh, Sports Gallery. It's a 20 Cannondale sign, Paul Horning. Nice canvas of Clay Matthews chasing Brett Favre. A really nice Goodwill find for a couple bucks of Vince Lombardi and what it takes to be number one. I'll just pan over here, show you the, the depth of the room. All right, back to this side right here. Next we have a Green Diamond Ted Williams signed photo. It's a 16 by 20. Really cool image of the Splendid Splinter. Right here is a JSA witnessed. Mark McGuire, 70th home run champion. Limited edition out of 700. This is my Frank Thomas signed Leaf poster. Turned out really nice. Over here is a Nolan Ryan signed photo, included Don't Mess With Texas. Over here we have a dehumidifier, something you need in your basement if you have a lot of autograph stuff. Here's a Mike Trout with a state away, stadium giveaway Mike Trout hat. Here it is, the Catch 2, 9-26-15. That's MLB authenticated. Over here is Giannis, got that signed. Over here is my cutout. I was a season ticket holder as a cutout last season for the Brewers. Here's the bar. Over here is a old scoreboard Shaquille O'Neal signed photo. Barry Bond signed photo. Over here, a big Ryan Braun collector. So it's a couple of his MLB authenticated game bats. This one's really nice because it's uncracked. A couple bobbleheads. His game used Jackie Robinson Day jersey. It's signed on the back. And then I contacted the photographer for the Brewers and he sent me pictures of Ryan wearing that jersey. Over here is a really nice Hank Aaron signed 16 by 20. Over here is a really nice Mickey Mantle signed photo. A photo of Paul Molitor and Robin Yount. Just gonna back up here. Gotta have the seating. Pack a rug and coffee table. Right next is the TV, with the PS5, and the old Nintendo for Tech Mobile, of course. The bad Call Brick. Back over here is a really cool Mike Tyson 16x20. Ollie was the greatest, I was the baddest. That was a limited edition of 10 total. Nice upper deck. Ken Griffey Jr. 16 by 20. Bo Jackson breaking a bat over his knee. Muhammad Ali and Arnold Schwarzenegger signed 16 by 20. The, the photo was originally just signed by Ali, but many, many years later, I was able to get Schwarzenegger to sign it and his like first ever autograph signing. Right here, we have the old leg lamp. 
some cards waiting to be put away. My newest uh, through the mail, Tim Kennedy, UFC fighter slash special forces soldier. Alan Iverson, the answer. Wayne Gretzky, it's kind of my goat section right here. Michael Jordan, upper deck photo. Spo Jackson, 16 by 20. Was also the winner of a Topps promotion for Make Your Pro Debut. So I was a member of the Fresno Grizzlies slash Fresno Tacos. I was a Tuesday promotional uh, day where they were the tacos on Taco Tuesdays. So I got to keep everything pretty much from the batting helmet to my own glove, the ball I used to throw at the first pitch, another ball they gave me, my own card, pretty much every hat that they have, every variation of jerseys they have. Got my own bats from Louisville Slugger with my name on them. Got my own cleats from up, from Under Armour. Custom gloves from Franklin. Got my uh, lineup card and contract for a day. I also in here have the Ryan Braun Players Edition uh, MLB Authenticated Game Used Jersey from a few years back. Over here is a Kyle Tucker. Game use bat that I received from Kyle. This is also a game worn jersey that he homered in on coming to America, but it was coming to Fresno uh, theme night. That's one of his game used hits from the playoffs last season. Also, I have a couple of his home run balls. He signed one of his uh, one of my bats for me. Cool top sign over here. Some of the hardware from the youngest boys baseball teams, including his first career home run. Over here we got some more of the kids stuff right here. Over here I also collect uh, Prince Fielder stuff. There's a game used helmet, game used jersey that he homered in. This bat is pretty pounded and this is from his 2007 season when he was the youngest player to hit 50 home runs in a season one of his career hits and these pictures are photos of him wearing that jersey that he homered in pretty cool photo of him with his dad Cecil Fielder that's signed by Cecil Fielder when he was 13 he was hitting uh home runs out of Major League Baseball parks. Some extra bats down here, some Goodwill finds like a Roger Maris Louisville Slugger. Over here is a Eric Thames game used jersey. Probably his best career game. He homered twice on July 4th. Shows some good use and some photos of him wearing that jersey that day. Over here, some Wisconsin Badger memorabilia. Over here is some A.J. Dillon stuff, who should be a pretty pretty big breakout for running backs uh, this year. Didn't play much his rookie season last year, but uh, he's expected to have a much bigger role this year. Able to send some photos in, and he signed them. Go Pack Go, and he also did Quadzilla, thanks for being a huge fan. I'm your number one fan. Next shelf is a Burt Blylevin, signed 8x10. I love to fart. Yes, I do, Burt Blylevin. Yeah, added a little note there. It's a Wisconsin Timber Rattlers theme night giveaway there. My favorite uh, video game of all time, Tecmo Bowl, Tecmo Super Bowl. Right here is a live and kicking. Chester Markle was a Packers kicker back in the day. Uh, he's pretty famous for uh, a game-winning blocked field goal that he recovered and ran for a touchdown. And later, later it came out that he was uh, suffering some some severe uh, drug addictions. And during the halftime against the Bears, he went into the halftime, did some cocaine, and 
when it was time to make that field goal, he was still feeling the effects, and he says that's what made him run so fast to get the touchdown. Interesting fact there. Here's Dick Bennett and his son, Tony Bennett, who's now Virginia coach for men's basketball. Richard Simmons, I was, I was able to dance live on stage with Richard Simmons when he went to the Green Bay Oneida Casino. He's wearing a shirt that said, I'm with Richard with an arrow. Sign that Dance Your Pants Off VHS video cover for me. This one signed by Ron Dane and Barry Alvarez. Over here is just some extra storage for stuff. Youngest is Brewers Camp. Jersey, hat, and some medals there. Now we're moving on to the Packer wall. Here's a Charles Woodson signed 16 by 20. Sterling Sharp, one of my first favorite Packers. Here's Aaron Rodgers, hoping he comes back next week. Jim Taylor from the Mud Bowl. One of my favorite items in the collection, this Brett Favre and Bart Starr dual authenticated photo from Favre and TriStar. Domikowski, the magic man right here. Right here is the, the sneak. Signed by Bart Starr and Jerry Kramer. Over here is an upper deck authenticated number 505 signed check cut upper deck portrait from 2005. That's Vince Lombardi. Let's see if you can see it with the glare there. It's also signed by the Packer president on the other line. Forrest Gregg, one of my favorite photos or football images of all time right there from the Mud Bowl. Over here is a dual sign lithograph from Reggie White and Willie Davis. Here's Ron Wolf, the Packers old general manager, signing Reggie White. It's a really nice photo signed by Rainichke. Photo signed by Favre and Donald Driver. This is a limited edition from Steiner. Signed by Jerry Kramer with one of Vince Lombardi's quotes. You don't do things right once in a while, you do them right all the time. Right here, this was a really nice find at a, at a pawn shop, less than $200, and this is huge. The framing alone had to have been over $200. Over here, so Tony Mandrich, the NFL's incredible bulk, followed by the NFL's incredible bust and a signed photo. Now Jake collects a lot of Sandlot, and this is probably one of the things that I love about his collection is the Sandlot. I collect a lot of baseball movie stuff as well. I have a Ham Porter Brewers bobblehead, and you're killing me Smalls, Ham Porter signed photo. Imperfect, that's a signed copy for less than $2 at the bookstore. Pretty cool. One of my favorite uh, players growing up as a kid in the late 80s. So a pair of Ryan Braun, game used cleats, batting gloves, foul ball from the COVID season. Over here is a major league section talking bobblehead from Bob Euchre Charlie Sheen and Corbin Burns strike this mother out added the Joe Boo with the rum and the candles over here is uh, from the 2016 National I believe in Chicago we got to meet Dolly she was one of the a League of Their Own Rockford Peaches. There she is, her baseball card. There she is again. There's Tracy meeting her. We got this Georgia Peach slash Rockford Peach. Signed by the most of the cast, 
excluding Rosie O'Donnell and Madonna and Tom Hanks in the League of Their Own. There's a bobblehead. Next row is going to be my military row. So I have signed books from Robert O'Neill, the seal that killed Osama bin Laden. Roy Benavidez, a Vietnam War Medal of Honor recipient. He's uh, the one that inspired the movie, the Rambo movie series. If you don't know who he is, I would suggest uh, Googling him. It's a crazy story. David Goggins signed Can't Hurt Me. Really good book. Lone Survivor by Marcus Luttrell. My old army tank driver's license. Here's a sergeant that I served with in Iraq, Sergeant Alan Cash, who's up for the Medal of Honor. I think it's going through the final stages. And this is from UW-Milwaukee when I went to college there. I took fifth place doing my speech on uh, Sergeant Cash. This is Tim Kennedy. He was an active Special Forces member and UFC fighter at the same time. He hasn't, he hasn't fought in a few years now, though. R. Lee Ernie, mail call DVD signed to me. And over here, we got a Leafs Pop Century Robert O'Neill signed card and an Audie Murphy card from 1956. Over here, <clears throat> I have Milwaukee baseball, my favorite uh, baseball cards, starting from 1887, 1910, 1954, etc. Some bronze autograph rookie, Molitor rookie, young rookie. One of my favorite cards is this one right here. The Robin Young, Paul Molitor, Ryan Braun, triple autograph. The mascot, Bernie Brewer signed card. Prince Fielder rookie, Sabathia Auto. The stained glass, Ryan Braun. Cool card here with Cecil Fielder and Prince Fielder. The one of one, Ryan Braun, Logo Man. One of one, Prince Fielder, Veggie. There's Bud Selig, when he's with the Brewers, and assigned Brewers payroll check. A couple bobbleheads there of Euchre, and signed ball from Euchre. Right down here is gonna be some random bobblehead from the Brewers. Over here is a game used first base from Ryan Braun's 350th home run game. From Mother's Day, his game used hat, a game used double. Those are all MLB authenticated. Some of my favorite Brewers bobbleheads right here. Milwaukee Brewers and Braves. Next up is my Babe Ruth shelf. The reason I started collecting in the first place, my grandpa was able to Go to the World Series game where Babe Ruth pointed and then homered, as you can see. Pay homage to that moment. Here's my signed photo. He appeared at a radio show and all the guests received the photo. This one's signed also by John Barrymore, Al Jolson. Next up, this is Joe DiMaggio porcelain series. You have the one signed reproduction porcelain card. And a photo proof and there's holograms on everything. Over here, might be hard to see, but it is a signed, it's kind of faded, but it is a signed photo to Ken Johnson from Ty Cobb. It's my Ty Cobb signed photo, followed by more bobbleheads. Rounding out the room. A couple more Packer photos. Al Pacino in the present signed 
mini poster. This is signed by Robert O'Neill, the seal that killed Osama bin Laden. Got this $50 uh, Soup Dog Colt 45 sign from an old liquor store that was closing. It's an Ice Cube album cover that I got signed back in the day. A Snoop Dogg's photo I got signed back in the day. Here is Cal Ripken Jr. signing by 10. A Larry Bird and Magic Johnson dual signed photo. Right here is the 1971 Bucks championship winning team. Signed by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Oscar Robertson, John McLaughlin, and Dandridge. Moving up is a baseball bat signed by Pete Rose, and that is signed Charlie Hustle. That's something that he wouldn't sign for a long time. I guess he ran out of things to sign, so he's signing it now. So probably a good opportunity to get it now. It's probably one of the the rarest Pete Rose signatures out there. Signed a lot of stuff back in the day. Here's an old McFarland's, Clay Matthews, Aaron Rodgers, Greg Jennings. All right, right now I'm waiting on some stuff that'll come back from the National signed. Got a little space left here. Just wanna say thanks for Jake the Ticket Leprechaun for making some great content and inspiring me to make this video for for him and everyone else that is interested in sports memorabilia, especially from Wisconsin. Uh, the things I like about Jake's collection are his Sandlot items, his boyhood items, and of course, his huge collection of baseball Hall of Fame autographs. Getting the bobbles, an autograph and a, and a card of each player has always been pretty cool. And I, I like that he collects the vintage stuff because I like a lot of the vintage stuff. Some of, this, some of the newer shiny stuff is pretty cool too. But if I had a choice, it would be the, definitely be the, the old vintage cardboard. All right, that'll do it. This is my longest video I think I've ever had. So if you're still watching, thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye.